rumors linger and what were the bizarre circumstances surrounding Jeffrey Epstein's actual death? Why is it sort of so controversial right now? I always get the bizarre question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think there is so much um, attention still on the case, even though he's dead. I'm not sure he committed suicide. In fact, the name of our series is Who Killed Jeffrey Epstein? Um, but I think we still are in awe of how someone could get away with this for so long. And in the three hour special that ID has done on Jeffrey Epstein, we walk you through that. You know, the very first time a young woman came forward, her name was Maria Farmer, it was 1996. She went to the police. She said, I was assaulted by Jeffrey Epstein and a female friend, and so was my 15 year old sister, and nothing happened. And then in 2005, in, in uh, Palm Beach, there's a 14 year old girl. Her stepmother calls police and says, Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. And nothing much happened except he got to go to jail and sleep there at night, but he got to go home during the day. And then finally, in 2017, the feds got active and he gets arrested. And Jeffrey Epstein's whole world, it didn't matter how much money he had or how many houses he had on what continents or that he had a plane called Lolita Express, his life was over. I mean, he was caught, he was completely exposed, along with all the society, high society figures that were his friends. So I think we, we wonder, A, how did he get along, uh, away with it for so long? And number two, did he really kill himself or did somebody sneak into that prison where people paid off to allow him to be murdered? 